Protests erupt in Jakarta after an Indonesian court rejected challenges to the country's presidential election result, clearing the path for Defence Minister Prabowo Subianto to take office in October. Hundreds of demonstrators gathered in front of the Constitutional Court, voicing their discontent after the ruling. The two losing candidate pairs had sought disqualification of Mr. Prabowo and his running mate, as well as a rerun of the election. But as Chutney Bhavani reports, the court's decision, which is final and binding, puts an end to all election disputes. Indonesia's Constitutional Court has rejected all petitions from both losing presidential and VP candidates Anis Baswedan, Muhaimin Iskandar and Ganjar Pranowo Mahfud MD, cementing the victory of President-elect Prabowo Subianto and his running mate Gibran Rakabuming Raka in February's presidential elections. The court stated that the applicants' petitions were unreasonable according to the law in its entirety and that the argument that President Joko Widodo had used nepotism, which birthed a coordinated abuse of power to nudge the Prabowo-Gibran pair to victory in just one round of voting was groundless according to law. This means that the court has rejected attempts seeking a re-vote, a disqualification of Prabowo-Subianto and or Gibran Rakabuming Raka, officially putting a legal end to the election disputes. Having said that, three judges of the eight-member bench expressed dissenting opinions, including on the issue of a re-vote and President Widodo's disseminating of social assistance. The court also asked legislators to improve election laws, especially regarding campaigns, saying that the absence of regulations regarding campaign activities before or after the campaign period provides an opening for election violations that are free from legal entanglement or administrative sanctions. A lawyer for the Prabowo Gibran team said that this victory was a victory for all Indonesian people and not just Prabowo Gibran. Former presidential candidate and Central Java governor Ganjar Pranowo told reporters that his and running mate Mahfud MD's journey had come to an end and that they accepted the court's decision. Former presidential candidate and Jakarta governor Anis Baswedan, meanwhile, has yet to issue a statement. Chani Vatvani, CNA, Jakarta.